As the Argentine government sought to modernize its aging armored forces in the 1970s, it faced the challenge of transforming a fleet dominated by World War II-era vehicles like the M4 Sherman and M3-M9 half-tracks recognizing the lack of a robust domestic design and development capability, Argentina commissioned the German company Tyson Henschel, now Rainmetal Land System, in 1974 to create a new light-slash-medium combat tank and infantry fighting vehicle, IFV. This collaboration aimed to utilize a common chassis and powertrain to keep costs manageable while addressing the pressing needs of the Argentine army. Tyson Henschel adapted the German Army's Martyr IFV for this dual-role project, developing prototypes that included a full-size turret for the combat tank and a more compact turret for the IFV. Following successful trials in Germany, the vehicles were shipped to Argentina, where the TAMS, Tank Argentino Mediano Sociedad El Estado, factory was established in Buenos Aires for serial production. Approximately 70% of the components were produced in Argentina, with the remainder sourced from Germany. The original order called for 512 vehicles, including 200 TAM tanks and 312 VCTP IFVs, but budget constraints reduced this to 350 units with only 250 ultimately completed, 150 TAM tanks and 100 VCTP IFVs. The TAM, Tank Argentino Mediano, Tank and the VCTP, Vehiculo de Comate Transporte de Personal, IFV were developed to fulfill specific combat roles within the Argentine Army. The TAM features a conventional design, with distinct martyr IFV influences visible in its chassis and hull. The vehicle boasts a well-sloped glassy plate, near vertical sides, and a rear panel that slopes inwards. Notably, the engine is located in the front right compartment, a design choice more typical of modern IFVs. The turret, situated at the rear, has a low profile and is designed to maximize ballistic protection with slightly sloped frontal and side panels. The running gear consists of six double-tired road wheels and three track return rollers, with the drive sprocket located at the front and the track idler at the rear. Constructed from steel, the vehicle features an NBC nuclear, biological, chemical, protection system, and the crew comprises four personnel, the driver, commander, gunner, and loader. Powered by a German MTU MB833 K500 series supercharged six-cylinder diesel engine, the TAM delivers 720 horsepower, enabling a maximum speed of 46 miles per hour and an operational range of 580 miles. A conventional torsion bar suspension system enhances cross-country mobility. The main armament consists of a turret-mounted 105mm FMK.4 Modelo 1L gun, complemented by a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. An additional 7.62mm machine gun can be fitted at the commander's cupola for anti-aircraft and anti-infantry defense. The vehicle carries 50 rounds of 105mm ammunition and 6,000 rounds of 7.62mm ammunition along with electronically actuated smoke grenade dischargers for battlefield concealment. Introduced into service in 1983, the TAM has maintained an active presence in the Argentine Army, with initial production spanning from 1979 to 1991, and a second batch ordered between 1994 and 1995. A modernization program initiated in 2010, led by Israeli company Elbit Systems, aims to upgrade the TAM with a 120mm L44 smoothbore gun to enhance its tactical capabilities. Currently, the Argentine Army fields around 200 TAM tanks and 216 VCTP IFVs. While the TAM may not compete with the latest generation of main battle tanks, it effectively meets the operational needs of Argentina, providing a reliable and modular platform for various roles. Despite foreign interest in the TAM, no buyers have materialized, leading to the closure of the TAMS factory in 1995. Nevertheless, the TAM remains a critical component of Argentina's armored forces, expected to serve effectively for years to come.